Nina is on a journey. It's very hard to believe. A journey no one would ever want to make. I'm sure, pretty sure, he was killed at that place inside from hotel. The destination is the scene of a mass execution. I can't feel smile from people who are dead and his body is still uh, here. Here, we are told, the Russians killed dozens of people. Among them, her husband, Serhi, the father of her two daughters. No matter what. Imagine the courage it takes to confront the awful truth. Oh my God. Many shooting from head, shoulder, near heart, legs, uh, hand, even on back. What's it like for you to be back here, his last place where he was alive? It really hurts. It really hurts to be here and feeling how he's staying alive and just like a few seconds and he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's taken Nina months to discover her husband's fate and only then when she saw pictures of his body posted on social media. His eye open when they killed them. From gun, his eye open after death. But he looked his killers yes. in the eye. After body dead, his eyes looking in heaven. So it's like that. <laughs> Sorry. Across this country, there are many people like Nina searching the ruins of their lives, looking for an answer, an understanding of the last moments of a husband or a wife, a son or a daughter. They might find out how they died, but never an answer to that much bigger question. Why? We shared Nina's story with the woman whose job it is to track down her husband's killers. Very brave woman, actually. Very strong and brave woman. Can you promise Nina and so many like her that they will have justice for their, their loved ones? I work for Nina and for other Ukrainians. And this is my main uh, goal every day. And not only promise, I guarantee, then I do the best and, and the most possible what we can ever to do. In and around Butcher, she tells me, they've identified 36 suspects. Started to prosecute them. Uh, you know their names, you know their units, you know Absolutely. what they did. Yes. But with more crimes every day, they're overwhelmed. What is it that you lack and what is it that you need the international community to help you with? We need um, more support on the ground. It should be investigators, prosecutors, experts of international humanitarian law, forensic experts, other experts. The investigation, she warns, will go on long after the war ends. What I have seen during these four months, I've never forget it and I never forgive it. I never forget, forgive burnt people by tank, shattered civilians by guns. I hope that we will demonstrate not only whole world, but concrete Nina and other people who are now victims and survivors, that we can do the job for them. But for Nina, all hope is gone. Do you think you will ever find the men who are guilty of murdering your husband. I hope he is dead. It's not possible to find him. It's not only one person, it's many person. It's very hard. It's hurt me every time when I look this picture. In Ukraine, the graves are filling faster than the wheels of justice can turn. John Ray, ITV News, Butcher.